YouTube, what is going on? I got another video for you guys today. I'm back. What is this? Almost three in a row. But uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some Jetson made type beats. You know, something like for Roddy Rich. More like the bouncy drum. So maybe even some Jack Harlow type, type beats like that. Uh, but basically, I'm going to be making uh, like a, a little piano melody. And I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make your drum stand out a little more. So uh, we're going to be breaking down some cool 808s too. So let's jump right into this. So like I said, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and try and make a little like piano melody. So I'm gonna open up Omnisphere. I'm gonna bust open a uh, Keyscape piano. And I'm gonna just go for this grand piano right here. Alrighty, so first thing I'm gonna do is set <clears throat> the scale highlighting to E minor. So, uh, e natural minor right here. And I'm going to see if I can make a little melody. I'll tap out a tempo. So I want something like 140. So I'm going to do, do 141. Alright, cool. So I like how this sounds, but it's too fast. So I'm gonna bring it down to like 30, like 133. See if I can get that to sound good. Cool, so I'm gonna just duplicate this over. I'm gonna hit uh, Command R. Oops. Option R, yeah. Randomizer. Uh, I'm gonna turn the pattern. Oh, how do you do this? I don't want this shit on. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna randomize the uh, velocity a little bit. And then I'm also gonna hit Alt S to strum them. Nothing's gonna strum. That's not what I wanna do. Never mind. Not gonna strum it. Um, I don't wanna do this. I guess this will work for now. So I'm gonna route this to mixer track one. I'm gonna go to the insert and add RC retro color just to spice up the sound a little bit. So I definitely want some noise. I wanna distort it a little bit and I definitely want some wobble. I'm gonna bring it down to about 10. I'm gonna space up a tiny amount and I'm also gonna widen it. I'm gonna turn this magnetic part off and then I'm just gonna EQ the shit out of it. Right, cool so i like how that sounds but i'm gonna add a delay just to fill it out a little tiny bit more uh, i'm not sure what i want to set this to actually let's see i should like this i'm just bring the volume down a lot and ping pong it. All right, cool. So as far as melody, that's like almost pretty much where I'm going to keep it. Because I mean, Jetson's usually pretty pretty easy with his melodies. There's not too much to him. So I'm going to just see where we can get with that. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is just see if I can add a hi-hat. So I'm going to go to my kit, my new kit that's out right now. Go to hi-hats and just find something in here. I think I'm going to use this one right here. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is just hit fill each two steps. Just to get a little bounce going. And I'm also going to bring this shift knob right here up a little bit, which is just going to time shift it and bring the hi-hats over a bit. Just adds a little bit of groove. Right, so I'm going to find the clap. 
I'm gonna be using this basic clap from the kit. It's super like uh, super bright and in your face, and that's what I'm going for with this for sure. And we'll find a nice uh, bright snare too. Definitely want to use this one. This guy right here. Alright, cool. So that's pretty much it for like the basic drum loop so far. So I got a clap snare, hi-hat, then a few perk snares, and then an open hat. So now what I'm going to do is go into the hi-hat and just get a little nitty and gritty and uh, try and add a little more bounce. So I'm going to set it to a six step. For this part right here, I'm gonna have the hi hat velocity like stutter a little bit. So uh, let's see, this should be good. And do like the typical Jetson thing, bring these hi hats down at the end. See how this sounds. Cool, so I think what we gotta do next is just go in and add the 808. So for the 808, I'm gonna just be using like the standard Z808. I know Jetson uses something like this a lot, so I might have to edit this 808 a little bit, but maybe not, we'll have to see. So I'm definitely gonna try and go for a unique 808 pattern here, something that Jetson made would do. So I know a lot of times he'll start with the first note to be an octave higher. So we'll see if that sounds good. I'm also just following the uh, root note of my melody here. So it's pretty much just E to uh, D, yeah, e, just E to D the whole time. Uh, let me change my skill.
getting these notes out so they don't uh, do some weird shit later on, but we should be good. Delete this part right here. Cool. So I'm, I like that. I like that. I took out that second part of the chord, the second chord that was right here. I don't know. I wasn't feeling that for some reason. But I'm also going to try and make this piano a little more dry. So I'm going to turn this delay down and I'm going to go back into RC Retro and turn uh, the space off. All right, cool. So I'm also going to add this real simple kick pattern right here just on the first drop, then this part right here, second drop, and then also this part right here. Cool. So last thing I'm going to do is I feel like the melody is just too plain. So I'm going to go in and add a flute. So I'm going to be using this plugin called Mellotron. It's got a really nice flute plugin or a really nice flute sound that I like in there called Strawberry Flute. It's actually the default sound. Alright, 
So I, I pretty much got what I want, but I'm still feeling like this melody isn't full enough. So what I'm going to do is go into Dune. And then I'm going to just see if I can find some arpeggiator that sounds good. cool so that's pretty much it so i mean it's, it's super simple but i think what really comes into play here is the arrangement of the beat so i'm gonna show you guys how like jetson would do something like that so first i'm gonna right click on i already did that but i right click on the main pattern and split into all these and then i'm gonna shift click bring these all out here there's some rearranges just so the melodies up on top and put the drums under Drag all these out, and first thing I'm gonna do is select everything and hit uh, Control B just to duplicate it over a bunch of times. And I'm gonna start everything out with just the piano and this little Dune art uh, in the song mode just to make sure you play this part. Alright, so Justin May would do something like this. So he'd add his tag right up in that first part. Very small intro, uh, just four bar right there. So I'm gonna track on my tag, just go to uh, this right here. And I got a little tag preset that I throw on my tag just to add some reverb, some EQ, and everything. And it turns the volume down. Yeah, turn it up, Q. Make this a little more dry. Yeah. Turn it up, Q. So I'm gonna have the hi hat just start right here on that last bar, and then straight into the 808 with just the hi hat and the clap. Turn it up, Q. And we're gonna cut everything right here. Or just the drums, cut all the drums right here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this last part over here. I'm gonna cut, uh, so I'm gonna hit C on my keyboard to pull up the cup. Yeah. Just, just make sure. You gotta make sure you're out of uh, keyboard typing now. So hit C, pull up the cut tool. I'm gonna cut everything like this. And then I'm gonna drag this part over here. And we're gonna do like a little stutter step type thing like right before uh, the drop. So I'm gonna drag this here. Oops, I'm just clicking everything. There you go. Make sure I grab everything. So we duplicate it like this and then have it do a little double thing here. Have it cut for a split second, let's see. I'm also gonna have this uh, the 808 so it doesn't drop too much. And then I'm also taking the kick out of this so it drops a little harder on this part and also the open head. All right, so let's see how that sounds. So yeah, that's what I would do for, this is like, this would be a little intro right here, and then probably like the main main verse or something for these eight bars. Then I would drop out the flute and the kick, and I also have the hi-hat stop right here for a split second. And you could do uh, like a hook right here, and I'll duplicate this over, drop out, just have just a piano playing, the 808, and pretty much kill most of the drums. I would probably be in like everything like this. Also, have the hi hat die out for this part right here. And then I'm also gonna have it where the 808 and everything else comes in late, but this hi hat will hit, and also the clap just before, so it'll sound like this. Yeah, so something like that. And then I would pretty much just. 
uh, would also have a hi hat die out for one little part right there. And then just duplicate this over two times. I'm gonna move my tag the second few parts because when you're sending out beats, you don't wanna have your tag just showing up everywhere. But yeah, that's how I do it. And we're only at 240. Yeah, that's actually perfect. That's about the length of the Jetson beat. So, and then I'll just duplicate this over. Go to the master channel, right click, create automation clip. And just have the volume fade out. That is pretty much it. The next thing I would do, I'll show you guys how I would master this. I would just throw on just a quick fruity parametric EQ, boost the highs a little tiny amount, maybe by like a decibel. And then uh, I would do the low, like mid lows right here, whatever this band is called. Just bring that up a very tiny amount and then bring the bass up like a decibel or two, just cause uh, Jetson made 808s are kind of like that, kind of bass heavy. And then, so this 808 is too loud, so I'm definitely, you don't want your 808s really hitting above minus three, in my opinion, that's like the max you could do. So this. It's about perfect. And then I got a wave shape around here, and I'm gonna just drag, or <laughs> drag this tension up, just to distort it a bit. And then make sure this hits right with the kick, clap, and all that. Cool, so yeah, I mean, that is literally the whole beat. If you learned anything, like the video, subscribe. I'm gonna keep trying to make some more video for y'all. Uh, also, let me know what you guys are uh, wanting to see from me. So drop a comment with a video suggestion, but that's all I got for you guys right now. I'll see you in the next one.